Welcome, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition, bringing you a general love reading. Please know that always time stamps in the description box. For those of you that want to skip ahead, please know that time is fluid. This could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Okay. I feel like there's been somebody who's been not really opening up. They're not being honest with you about something. And you've kind of gone around and around with circles. You can't really, you're like in, stuck in this cycle with this person. And them kind of like beating around like what their feelings are. You know, beating around the bush. They're not really, they're not being direct. And I think that what you're really hoping for is like definitely like a more of a traditional relationship. And you're hoping that you can manifest this with this person because you do, you know, have a really great time together. You have fun together. But, and you, you can feel that this person likes you more than they're letting on or more than they're verbalizing to you. Um, but there is some type of obstacle here, like I said, whether they're afraid of commitment or um, some of you could actually come from different cultures, religions, backgrounds. For some of you, there could be physical distance here. Okay. But I do feel like you're going to be getting um, a confession from this person, Sagittarius. So let us see. I want to go ahead and pull some tarot. Okay. Sorry if you guys hear my littles in the background. All right, let's do your energy, their energy. What is between you and this person? The obstacle or challenge? Their thoughts, their feelings, intentions, and what actions can you expect from this person? What is going on here, please, for the collective? What is the energy here for the collective? Your energy, their energy. Between you, obstacle, their thoughts, their feelings, intentions, and actions. Okay, wow. Seven of Swords. So, Sagittarius, this is going to be a very specific and a bit heavier of a type of reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I really cannot stress this enough. I don't want to see any comments saying this is, you know baloney the same it you know then it's just not your story okay <laughs> this this feels very very specific i feel like for those of you who resonate with this reading this is someone that you may not currently be together with there may also be physical distance like you and this person may not live in the same town okay and if this doesn't resonate for you check your moon sign your rising your venus as an example i'm a virgo sun however most of the time for me i typically watch like um readers who um, do like leo readings or taurus readings for my moon sign my rising sign so check that out okay check out check out your other placements um i think this person was keeping secrets from you i think that this person wasn't certain of what they wanted there definitely is you know like a lot of very intense feelings, a lot of passionate energy, like a lot of physical attraction here. I think that you are very guarded because, again, you've kind of gone back and forth on this hamster wheel with this person, kind of repeating the same pattern over and over again, just never get anywhere. For some of you, this connection could be very on and off, very hot and cold. Like one minute, they're all about you. You're amazing. You're so beautiful. You're so handsome. You're the, and the next minute, you don't hear from them for you know a week, two weeks, a month. And then they come back in. Can't stop thinking about you. I was really missing you. Well, then why weren't you texting me? That's the kind of energy that I'm getting. It's like you're just getting a lot of back and forth with this person. And you're getting very suspicious. Like, are they involved with someone else? Are they married to someone else? You know, are they not interested? Are they interested? It's like you're getting so much. There's just no consistency. This person has, they've been wearing a mask. They haven't been honest. I think this person definitely has kept secrets from you. But I do feel like this person is going to be coming in to clear the air with you. They want to be very clear about how they're feeling. Um, they're gonna. There's going to be a confession here. This person is taking a leap of faith. We have Leo Aries strongly here. Capricorn. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I mean, it could be any sign that you're dealing with. To your person, we see the Six of Swords. So they see you as someone they're not that's not easily accessible or something. Like, they can't just, you know, hop in the car and drive to your house or... You know, it's like there's some type of like a distance here emotionally, physically, where this person feels like there is, it's it's just not easy to be with you. And, but they keep coming back to it. It's like there's something about you that calms them. Six of Swords. Between you with the Six of Wands, 
I think you I think that you view this person as someone who definitely has a big ego, has a hard time being emotionally open or vulnerable. That's why they're wearing this mask and hiding their feelings. And for some of you, there could be something here about appearances. Like this could be so, 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 so specific where like this person, there's something about like their family, their culture, their upbringing, their religion. I mean, for a very small portion of you, I mean, it could be that this person is married. I mean, that, but that's not for all of you. But it's like things ended. Ten of swords. Like you're not with this person right now. But like deep down you know it's not over or that it will restart again at some point in time. Like you'll be you know you'll be hearing from this person. Six of Wands. You really want this to be successful. You both see potential here. But you've given all that you can give and now it's time for this person to be consistent, to open up. You're trying to protect yourself. Now, this person's thinking about you, though. They're thinking about you as someone very compassionate, you know, understanding, nurturing, there for them. Someone who doesn't give up on people that you care about, you know, Queen of Cups, someone very, male or female. You know, someone very loving, very affectionate. Someone that they have feelings for, someone they care a great deal about. But they haven't always been honest with you. Like, they're afraid of their feelings. Like, they allow things to come between you. They feel there's so many obstacles. Like, they just can't get to you. Like, they kind of, like, lose hope or something. And so they disappear. They focus on other things. And, again, I will never justify someone's actions, behaviors, any kind of negativity. But we are here to understand their perspective, whether we agree with it or not. Because we know your side. So, in order to have full clarity, we have to understand in their own mind why they may react or have certain, you know, thoughts. Okay? What they feel... Like, I'll be honest here, I feel like there's a lot of selfishness. Like, when this person connect, there's a lot of lust and, like, very deep, like, physical attraction. Um, this person's almost, like, addicted to you. It's like they think that they can't give you what you want, need, or deserve. But at the same time, they can't fully let you go either. That's why they keep coming back in. It's like they kind of view this as, like, you'd be better off if I kind of stayed away so that you could be happy. But at the same time, I don't want to see you with someone else. And I think that you're still really conflicted here because you've been so affectionate and there for this person and you're protecting yourself here because they haven't really admitted their true feelings for you. And for some of you, they could have allowed other people to like distract them or keep them busy in the past. This person's missing you. Five of Cups. They want to come in and they want to make up for the past. Sometimes with that Five of Cups, I get that should have, would have, could have, you know, if I could just go back in time. You know, there's so many things I wish I could do differently. Um, making up for lost time. And I see that here because with the Six of Cups and their actions, this is about reconciliation. So for some of you, like I say, this person is coming back in, wanting to make amends, wanting to clear the air. They're wanting to kind of tell you the truth, what they think, what they feel. They want to express their feelings to you. Six of Cups. We have the letter here also. What do you need to know about this person or this situation? They're in love with you. My cup runneth over. They want a new beginning in love. They see you as the Empress. Libra Taurus energy. They want to make an offer to you. They know that you might be hesitant. But they also want to apologize. They see your worth. They, I mean, they always have. They felt like in the past there was just too many things standing in the way of actually being together. Now they want to express their feelings. They want to offer you love. They want to ask you if you're willing to pursue something with them. They feel like you're everything. They see so much potential for growth, new beginnings, abundance with you. But I don't think that you're going to easily be like, okay, sure, let's be together. They're going to be like, well, where have you been? What took you so long? Why are you just telling me this now? What about the past? You know, I do feel like this person is trying to ask your forgiveness. Again, it's always your choice. You have free will to choose to decide. So you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Okay. Um, some of you may choose to pursue this. Some of you might be more hesitant. But I do feel like this person definitely wants to clear the air. They want to be very direct about the past. They want to answer your questions. 
something may have majorly changed in their life. For some of you, this could be that your person has gone through some kind of major life change, like a divorce, a major move, or a loss of a loved one. Like it significantly impacted this person and kind of putting things into perspective. Um, so they want to make amends. They want to move forward. They want to reconcile with you. They want to tell you the truth about the past, if you're willing to hear it. So that's what I have for you. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.